welcome to another video in the Tech Byte series from CMG. My name is Mohammed, and today I will be talking about flux boundary and how to apply it on your model. First, what is a flux boundary? Flux boundary is a method or a feature that allows us to study a certain spot in our reservoir model by isolating the area of interest during a simulation run without losing the effect of the full model on that area of interest. There are two types of flux boundaries, flux, which is flow of phases or fluids, and pressure. So what are the advantages of using a flux boundary? By using a flux boundary, we can perform sensitivity studies on various modeling processes or well changes within the set boundary. That can be done without having the additional calculation for the rest of the field, but still accounting for the entire field's flow effect on that area of interest. So how can we apply flux boundary? To do that, let's jump to building. Here we have an IMX model. And if we wanted to add a flux boundary to it, we would go to the reservoir section and then double click on flux boundary. So we need to define a new flux boundary and we can do that by clicking on the black triangle here. Select new. And for this exercise, we can keep the default name. So click on OK. Now in this window, we have multiple options to select the area that will be included into the flux boundary. In this exercise, we're going to examine the polygon selection option. So activate it. And then if we had previously defined polygons, we will see them in the drop down menu here. Otherwise, let's click on new to define new ones. We can go ahead and define an arbitrary polygon. Once done, we can click OK. Select this from the drop down menu and make sure we select all the layers so we can include all of the layers into the flux boundary. Then click on the um, arrow here and click OK. Click Apply to save, then go to other properties. Now we must know that flux boundary is a two-step operation. First of all, we're going to generate an output file that will have the flux data in the entire reservoir model uh, recorded. And then we're going to use that data as an input file in the reservoir model in a different front. So to create a flux boundary output file, select output and give the file a name, flxb1, for example. Select the type of flux boundary. So we're just going to use a flux for this exercise. And click OK. Now we need to run the model to completion once. So click on the IMAX icon. Say yes to save. And then run normal immediately. So the model finished running. We can close this window and go back to flux boundary again. Double click, go to other properties. Now we're going to read that flux boundary output file into the model. So select input this time, then click on the three dots to locate the output file. So usually it will be saved in the same directory of the data set. So click and open. And then we need to activate the flux boundary. So make sure you check this box. Click apply, hit OK. And let's go ahead and save this model as so we can make a comparison afterwards. And then run the model again using the IMAX icon.
Now that the run finished, let's go to results to compare the data. So click on launch results. I'm going to maximize this. Then add in the original data file results. Let's go to time series. Now we know one of the wells that we had in the flux boundary was well 14. So let's plot the rate of oil for well 14. So in data type wells, in data sources, both the both SR3s, in data well 14, and for parameters, we're looking for oil rate. to plot and here we can see that the results are almost identical additionally if we take a look at the reservoir model with flux boundary in 3d we will be able to see only the part included in the flux boundary that the simulator used that does not mean that the rest of the model was disregarded because the flux boundary takes into consideration the effect of the remaining grid blocks from the base model. Comparing that to the base model in 3D view, we can see that the entire grid blocks of the reservoir are apparent, so uh, all the grid blocks participated in the simulation. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.